Hello everybody, it's Andrew Hutchings here. Still not a doctor, never giving medical advice, just consolidating medical information, putting it all in one place along with my opinion. It's educational. <laughs> this video is about an interesting phenomena. I'm not sure what to name this video, but about how, say you are worn out, you didn't get a lot of sleep, you had a long work day, you're tired, you're exhausted, you get home, you're, you just want to sleep or something. Now what do you think would happen if you took a sleeping medication like a benzodiazepine, like Valium, Xanax, Ativan? You would think it would help you get to sleep and you're going to sleep, get rested, that's that. Actually. You could, t if you took it, it lowers your body's energy needs because it lowers your metabolism and it allows you to relax enough that your energy requirements now meet or are closer to meeting the energy you actually have. Whereas you're stressed, you didn't get a lot of sleep, you had a long day, your body's demanding this, but it only has this. That's what results in you feeling all worn out. But when you lower it down, you can feel just fine. So as counterproductive as it may seem, sleeping medications could be taken even at the beginning of a day where you don't get enough sleep. That way it helps you not to burn through your energy. And you would go through the whole day feeling perfectly fine, even though you sh should be feeling worn out. I just think this is an interesting thing to know about. I'm sure a lot of doc people who work as doctors out there would disagree with it for some reason, but it's true, it's correct, it is what happens. I have been prescribed these medications in the past for various reasons, like nerve damage in my arm that caused all the muscle spasm and twitch and everything, not too pleasant. Um, yeah. And oftentimes I noticed with myself that I would get home and I'd be worn out and I'd think, you know, I'm going to drink a beer and then I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to do schoolwork. But what would happen 99% of the time is I would drink a beer and lay down to take a nap and I'm like, I'm not tired. What am I doing? I, f I feel way better now. I'm refreshed because it would calm down my body enough that it's energy being spent requirements matched its energy that it actually had. And uh, I thought to make a video on this because I was texting a friend of mine about anti-aging stuff and I told him how I noticed that opiate addicts seem to have uh, anti-aging going on with them because they age very slowly. Now not all of them, if you have a really tough life, you might age a little quicker, but in general, people that are addicted to opiates, who have a normal life, seem to age slower than people who don't use opiates. Just something I've noticed. But what's more interesting, if I'm talking a little weird, it's because i got some dental stuff in my mouth, rubber bands. Uh, but something else I found out about just today, coincidentally, is about hyperbaric oxygen chambers lengthening telomeres like 30 percent after like six months three months i can't remember what it is doesn't really matter because 30 percent is amazing i want to get one as soon as i can afford it now there could be downsides to that could possibly cause cancer who knows but uh, i guess we'll have to see so yeah it's sadly you can't go to your right aid and get valium for helping you stay awake throughout the day and not feeling exhausted. But you should be able to if, because you uh, don't get enough sleep, you're gonna be worn out all day. You could just, I'm not saying you should because I'm not a doctor, can't make medical recommendations, but you could just take a Valium, a little tiny bit of it, and lower down your body's metabolism, energy requirements, energy expenditure, and you'd feel a lot better. I, I just think it's really interesting because you say it to people and they're like, oh no, it's a sleeping pill, it's going to make you tired. Why would you take that if you're already tired? But it's actually, if you're tired and worn out, you take it and it helps wake you up. Because 
Like I've said a few times, it matches your energy expenditure, your requirements with what you actually have. Hope you like this video. Check out my other videos, whether they're there or whether they're there. Check out, and I have so many, you gotta, whether it's little icons there or it's there, you gotta click on that and scroll through them all. And my Instagram is natural underscore true underscore fitness. Website is andrewhutchings.org. And I'm still a fitness person. You can hire me for training advice, coaching, consultations, plans, whatever. Same thing with diet and supplements, but not medical. I know you'd love to because doctors suck. But I'm not a licensed physician, so I can't give you medical advice, but I can consolidate information from everywhere, whether it's the internet, my brain, someone else's brain, and give it to you along with my opinion. Not medical advice, just consolidation of information along with my opinion. And do me a favor, please like, subscribe, and comment, because it helps me out. Maybe someday I'll make some money from this. It'll help me live over in Ukraine or Russia or maybe even Belarus someday and uh, have a little bit of money coming in.